Hello, everybody, and welcome to day five of the Halloween card series. Again, I want to thank everybody for their support. This is really fun to do. You can see my fingers are all fun. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start um, again with this five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock from the paper source. But I'm going to do something a little different. I'm actually going to be doing a long card. So since this is five and a half, I'm going to score this at two and three quarters. Right? Yeah. So it's going to be kind of a long, thin, narrow card. Like so. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. So um, one of my favorite, another card that I've made in the past um, has been kind of like a repetitive pattern. And one of my favorite punches for Halloween time is this Martha Stewart bat punch. I'm not quite sure if she makes this anymore. I haven't seen it with the Halloween stuff. Um, actually, I haven't seen any small punches. I've only seen all the like border page punches. But this is my favorite bat punch or my favorite Halloween punch. And I have all my little matte stacks here of Halloween paper and I'm just going to go through and um, open them first <laughs> or at least the ones that aren't open and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to punch out some bats um, with some of this paper As you can see, I have a whole bunch of bats here, all different sh colors. 
I think I'm going to take some of this. This is that Michael's uh, glitter tape. And I think I'm actually going to punch a couple out of that because if I can. Because <laughs> it's always kind of fun to have a glitter bat. Okay. So I'm going to set all of these aside. And basically, I am going to line this up with my grid mat. I'm going to create a pattern. Let me get in focus here. And I'm going to create a grid pattern of bats. And then over here will be my sentiment. And with that, I'm going to use my Tombow Multi. So first, I'm going to kind of just set them. So as you can see, I have all my bats in line and I haven't pushed them all the way over because I want to make sure I have room for my sentiment. This is the uh, doodle bug paper that I just got recently from their The Haunted Manor. Let's see, it's a Haunted Manor collection. And it's this really tone on tone chevron. And I'm just going to place it there. Okay, and I'm going to mat that. I'm going to be using this Happy Halloween sentiment from Martha Stewart Crafts. And I'm going to be using my Jenny Bolin fountain pen. I'm just going to stick that on there. Okay, now I know that I've got room for my little guys, so I'm going to go ahead and glue them on. And I'm just going to put glue... on their little spine.
Okay, I've got all of the bats adhered. I'm just going to cut this off. And I really like these glitter bats, so I think I'm going to put some foam adhesive on the back of them. And put that there. Now the reason why I only glued their backs is that if you want to you can when they're dry you can come back in and lift their wings to give them some dimension. Now the only ones that probably won't do that are these glitter ones but all the bats that are paper And there you go. There's the card for day five. Uh, hope you guys all enjoyed that. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Take care.